Biophysics is, is taking the techniques and the theory of physics and then applying it to biological phenomenon. Then we're making physical measurements on biological materials. And that could be proteins or proteins in DNA or lipids or even whole cells. We work with lots of groups within the LMB and often the kind of questions we get asked is, you know, how, how strongly does something bind together? Does a multi-subunit complex, do they stay together? What are their size and their shape? What are their mass? We've got lots of specialised instrumentation and trained people who know how to understand which technique is actually the best to use. Yeah, it's amazing really. We must have 20 different pieces of equipment, all sorts of different biophysical techniques where, you know, previous labs where I've worked you maybe have one or two or access to a third. We've got such a broad range of techniques that we can answer all sorts of things. In this room for instance we've got the um, C-trap which is for looking at single molecule studies. We can pull on individual proteins and we can actually measure the forces that, that single proteins produce. At the same time we can, we can image these as well. Then we have other pieces of equipment such as um, size exclusion chromatography with multi-angle light scattering and that's the technique that allows us to measure precisely the molecular weight of a protein or complex that we have. It also lets us look at the, um, does it have post-translational modifications? What I'd be really proud of, I think, I mean, one of the experiments uh, that I did with Laurie Passmore's group, where we were looking at the affinity of a, a DNA clamp, which is there to kind of clamp over uh, DNA and, and, and we'll, we'll search for DNA damage parts. So we, initially when we were looking at the interaction by fluorescence polarization, it, it seemed to be very, very weak. And that didn't really make sense about how its, how its job could, could be in the cell to try and search. So I actually used the instrument behind me um, called the switch sense, which is involved DNA nanolevers. And this switches very, 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 very quickly. So if anything binds onto the DNA nanolever, then that will slow down the motion and we can detect the binding and look at the kinetics. And so the, the data actually here um, actually shows um, the interaction between the DNA clamp and uh, the DNA nanolever. And so that was the first time we could actually detail the kinetics and find out that it was a really tight binding. But more importantly as well, it didn't come off very quickly. It was very, very slow to come off. And so therefore that was probably why it was quite good at doing its job at, at searching. It could bind on to the DNA and then slide along the DNA to try and find the DNA damage parts. A project I'm, that I've recently finished was working with David Barford's lab where they'd done a, an amazing cryo-M structure of the kinetochore. And from their cryo-M structure they actually raised several questions where they'd seen interactions and they wanted to make mutants and when they made these mutants then actually on the sea trap we did single molecule studies where we measured the rupture force of the kinetochore from microtubules and that was a sort of a long-term project that took took quite a few months to do so it was um, you know amazing to be involved in in such a great project. I think most people that work in biophysics often use instruments and realize that probably the instrument could be optimized or bettered and one of the unique things about working at the LMB is we have mechanical and electronics workshops that allow us to fulfill those desires to improve or build unique instruments. This is our single molecule spectroscopy setup that we put together here at the LMB and we use this in two modes. One is to look at molecular diffusion and we do that using a technique called a fluorescence correlation spectroscopy. The other technique that we do is to use FRET, which uh, examines distances between uh, reporter groups in molecules. Why I really like working at the LMB is, is because of I mean, all the great science is, is happening here. I mean, it's very exciting to come in and interact with lots of different people and you know, be involved in their projects. And it's, I mean, it's fun to imagine you know, what's happening in biology and being able to interpret these mechanisms by using biophysical methods and getting hard numbers out about what's actually happening in the cell. 
I like helping people. It's nice for, you know, people have, have spent sometimes several months or even, even years sort of developing their projects and, and sometimes they have a little question which they're just interested in, sometimes they have a really big question and it's, it's nice if we can sort of tell them about the techniques we have and how we may be able to help them address their problem. What's the best thing work about working at the LMB? I think everyone is very friendly, everyone is very helpful, there's definitely a feeling of a common purpose. So what's exciting about biophysics? With biophysics often it's it's a very exact answer. Someone comes to us and they want to know if they've got a, a, a complex, if it's a dimer, if it's a trimer, and we can, we've got a piece of equipment where we can give them an exact answer. And that's quite nice to do.